everyone. Welcome to the Spiritual Reality Show, where we are raw and real, and we try to bring you what's happening with our spiritual life, because usually when it's happening to us, it's happening to you somehow, somewhere. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, Vivica. (laughs) Hello. And you look all glowy today. You look very happy and glowing. Oh, thank you. I just got like um, vitamin uh, insemination, if you wish. I mean, I just felt the energy shift. I told you that. I was like, something is happening. I'm feeling so joyous and light and airy and just got a lot of energy. Just suddenly happened. And you said you were getting goosebumps. I feel, yes, my back. I felt like this air coming up my spine, just like sort of opening up everything and Ah, like a breath of fresh air running through my body. All right. And I think after Lionsgate, we're, we're so feeling that energy still. And we're, maybe it's kind of, it feels kind of like a release a little bit, if you wish. Yes. Yeah. And allowing, you know, the portal is wide open. It's allowing us to move into creativity and to create that space in our, you know, to live in the present. I mean, it's so important to stay focused on right now okay so i pulled a card that was really really cool and and we're going to talk about it after after we do the grounding i'm always having fun with this thing (laughs) um this is the this is the hummingbird i know someone else was doing this i was watching and she was having the same trouble because it's opposite of the way you work now you can't really see the hummingbird too much but you can see the energy it's so brilliant in this and it's hummingbird spirit you can see what it says and it reads sweetness optimism and joy well the hummingbird is actually if you look at it the hummingbird is right up here on the other side the up, up there right <laughs> around there yeah i love so, when you're um, trying to find it <laughs> yeah what you can see his beak see his beak yeah. going yeah. in the water yeah okay yes i can so see anyway it. yeah we're gonna Perfect. read about Let's... that as we after yeah. we have our opening our yeah. grounding session which we love to connect and create our sacred space So Vivica is going to do that today. Yes. So I'm going to do my breathing exercise and I want you to join me. So just close your eyes for a moment. Just make sure that you straighten your back just a little bit and make sure that your feet are on the ground. And you might want to turn your palms upwards so you can allow that energy just to flow naturally out into your auric field as we are now going to center and purify and open ourselves up to the new activations and old old energy is releasing and new energy is coming in. So let us breathe in. And when you release, you just send those roots all the way down into Mother Earth. Just allow yourself to connect with Mother Earth. And you keep breathing in your natural rhythm, allowing yourself that breath deep down into your stomach. And as you release, you allow yourself to connect to Mother Earth and allow her to hold you and to nurture you and to bring the purity of life into your auric field, into your heart, as you breathe in her essence. And just visualize what her energy is doing for your auric field, balancing it, realigning you. And it's filling your heart and sparking your heart and your desire for this life. And as you choose to now focus on your crown chakra and you're moving up into the universe, all the way up to your personal star, and you feel that connection with your star, and that you're that space, that you are part of the universe, and that you are part of the lion's gate, receiving information, receiving energy, protecting you, giving you new hope, new aspirations, new inspirations. And you're breathing that in deep into your heart, allowing your breath to bring it down into your heart space. And you're just breathing and allowing and centering yourself within your heart. And as you now center yourself, you are that rainbow bridge connecting Mother Earth and the universe, allowing your colors to shine and to bring beauty to Earth and to your life. And as you now are protected, we ask that all our guides, masters, are with us and protect us 
and to bring messages of divine healing for all of us here today. Thank you, and when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Mm. Oof. I just like opening the heart space. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw all colors swirling, like lots of blues and greens, kind of like my shirt, but it was interesting that it was just the colors were just coming right in, in into me. I could just see them in front of me. It was it's beautiful. Like, uh, Thank you. you read that card. Would you bring that back? Yeah, I can tell you more about the hummingbird spirit. Yeah, hummingbird, it's yeah. Sweetness, optimism, and joy. Yeah, that's what and I felt when you said the colors as well and what I was yeah. sensing that was given colors to us. sweet. Yeah. Yes. Very sweet. I'm aligned with joy and attracted to sweetness. I follow my bliss and joy is my gift to others. Mm -hmm. So it talks about hummingbird is a unique medicine in nature's kingdom. Like it flies like no other birds on the earth. Their wings can beat up to 200 times per second, mm -hmm. allowing them to hover, fly backwards and even fly upside down, which I don't think I knew that. Hummingbird's vision is very sensitive and discriminating. They can see further and with a wider spectrum of color than humans. These birds can hear higher pitched sounds as well. Everything about the hummingbird is designed to be quick with the ability to respond immediately to whatever it sees or hears. Hummingbird spirit never, energy never puts off what it loves to do until tomorrow or even another moment. The, this medicine is about living fully in the present moment, never in the past. The past is no longer hummingbird's business. Hummingbird spirit's mantra is, you can only drink nectar in the present, never in the past or in the future. This optimistic, joyful, and sweet spirit knows it is under no obligation to hang around, even for a split section, second, anywhere other than where it really wants to be. If the vibration is even slightly off or not to the liking, it darts away without hesitation. And whenever a vibration is attractive to hummingbird spirit, it heads straight for it with no time lost. When you're in alignment with hummingbird spirit, you're keenly aware of vibration at even the subtlest levels, and you need to be in 100% alignment with your environment and the company you keep. Mm -hmm. So the final message is, Hummingbird spirit comes darting through the cards with a message to find and follow your bliss. Mm. Like the hummingbird darting from flower to flower to get the sweetest nectar, live for each moment today, enjoying each to the fullest. You'll need no explanation for not hanging around anywhere the vibration isn't 100% where you feel most aligned and you may not have one. Experiencing the joy of the moment is always reason enough. And, and that's so powerful for us, I think, to, to, you know, to be in the sweetness and in the bliss because life hasn't been too blissful the last couple of years. And so to be in this again, it's coming in. I mean, you can tell with the energy, with the lines get opening, it's created this bliss portal. And um, it's just so powerful. You know, I, I, I mentioned, you know, I, I, my creativity is coming alive again. It was just so dormant because I was kind of mourning things and kind of releasing so many things that I couldn't really be in the moment. I was a little bit stuck in the past. Well, and so now I'm get, out of it. Yeah. Pardon my me? legs get helped you. Now you're, you know, yes. you're free, you're joyful. Now you can be that creative power and just allow it to flow. And that's I, I, what I think about that card. It's like, it's allowing us to enjoy life again. It's reminding us to enjoy life again. And, and when I just, just you and I meeting Janet and doing this, you know, sometimes it can be, you know, challenging because we're on different time zones. We are, we have different schedules, uh, life happens, but when we're together, when we decide and we connect and we're so present, it's so joyful. I've said it this is. so many it times. We I always so have fun. Enjoy. Yes. 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 And this yes. is what we always lift know, our that, spirits. Yes. <laughs> and that's what this card means to me. It's yeah. you and I coming together, sharing, bringing, you know, our gifts to the world, serving. Actually, that's what we're doing. We are following our soul's calling. We are doing our purpose and we're just allowing ourselves to enjoy life. And right. And our what? purpose is, and, and we're doing this to help others as well, to realize that's that the we service. do this. Yeah. but we're also able to get back in joy and we want you to see and we're hoping that you can join us in being back in joy and if you need you know just just realize that we're all in these same you know this reality together
enjoying it as we go. So to be in this joy is so wonderful right now. And I can feel, I mean, it's been starting to shift since, I don't know, I think May, I started to feel a shift. I mean, it was still a little slow. June was a little better and July is like everything. It was hard in the beginning, but the other half was better and better. And now August is just, wow. You know, things are happening and uh, it's so exciting for all of us. I mean, the inner stuff that's happening is so amazing. So, um, you know, the lion's gate, uh, it's a, it's an eight point. It's a, there's a, it opens up the sacred year and I just want can I read this little thing? Yes, it's so interesting. That. And I thought people might like to hear this and you know, it began on August 8th and it's the major time gate of the sacred year. And it's guarded by the lions, the guardian lions who are angelic beings and their function is to guard the time space portal for earth on her journey through the stars. So we're going through what they call the, uh, the, what is it called? The, it's the, uh, something of the, you know, going through the center of the uh, universe. We're going through the, I can't think of the right words right now, but um, it's a procession of the equinox. Is that the right thing? I think that's what the word is procession of the equinox. We were going through the center. We kind of missed it a little, but we're still in that sweet spot. We're going through the sweet spot of the universe and it does cause so much to come to light. And that's why so much is coming to light in the world and also in ourselves. And so um, this time was a very sacred time to the ancient Egyptians and the Mayans who connected to the ancient pulses of light. So there are eight points of light that connect to this sacred year that the Lion Gate opens to. And the eight points are, and there's four major time portals, which is so cool. And they're seasonal. So the time gate started 8-8. And that's in August. And then the 11-11 in November of 2022, <clears throat> excuse me, and the 2-2 in February of 2023, and the 5-5 in May. Mm. And each of these portals are under the guardianship of many of the star councils. Mm -hmm. Now, you know we're not alone. We, we have higher regulation. And the royal stars of Regulus is worked with the 8-8. And Taurus, it works with the 1111. Formula Hut, which I never heard of, is 2 2. And Aldebaran is 5 5. And the 8 8 and 2 2 are governed by Leo and Aquarius axis, which is held by the Syrian star teachers. Now, mm -hmm. that makes sense because the portal mm -hmm. is connecting to Sirius on 8 8. I have a I have a definite connection to Syrian energy. I immediately knew that when I started working in this this whole spiritual work. And then the 1111 and the 55 is held by the Pleiadians as they work with Earth and its evolution. Now the Pleiadians are always supporting us. They're always helping us. I know you're very connected to Pleiadian yeah. energy. Mm -hmm. I am connected too more than I thought, but it's all connecting with Earth's relationship with the sun and the golden light of the Christ consciousness mm. and how we are moving into the highest level of consciousness that our sun is radiating to Earth at this time. And, you know, because of, we mentioned before how hot it's been across the world, at, well, hot in some places, cold in others. It, it, but it's been circling like it did go around. Didn't you have some hot days in uh, Norway? Uh, yeah, earlier this year, like in June, May, June, it like so it was early. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird how it's doing that, but yeah. I think it was an opening. It was like an, uh, the energy is opening, you know, the third eye mm -hmm. and the heart energy. And so this all connects to Mary Magdalene Yeshua and the embodiment of the feminine and the divine masculine, which we had Mary Magdalene's feast day. Yeah. And uh, that was, that was uh, about a week ago. And that was so gorgeous. No, that was a couple. No, that was like three weeks ago. And so that was so gorgeous. I sent you this amazing thing that someone sent yes, me. <laughs> and I literally beautiful. cried when I read it. It yeah. was the most beautiful, beautiful energy of Mary Magdalene. And I was connected to Mary Magdalene with a group that I went to for 13 years. And um, I think I talked about this last a couple, of, a couple of episodes ago where my uh, teacher passed, mm -hmm. Gloria. And, and, you know, the name Gloria is, is, is cool in itself. It's like glorious. Yeah. So she's always bringing in glorious, abundant energy. Mm -hmm. And um, I just started playing pickleball. You know what pickleball is? No, I have no clue. That's an American thing, I think. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a racket sport. And it's, um, 
it's it's with four people on a court and it's great especially you know you don't have to run as much so it's great for you know all ages and um one of the women in my group was Gloria yesterday. I just started laughing. I'm like, oh, another Gloria. I don't ever meet Glorias. And there was a second Gloria in the group. Okay. And I thought that was a sign, you know, that Gloria's looking down and she's saying hello because remember we talked about how much I was connected to her and she wrote some beautiful things. But um, Mary Magdalene, she had her feast day on um, July 22nd. Mm. And that's a master number day. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it was so beautiful. She talked about opening your heart and we are becoming the daughters of the holy encodings. And uh, she said to hold within you a memorandum that is meant for earth, a message that is encoded with holy calligraphy, a message that you can read only from the inside out. And she was asking us to remember uh, ho our holy positions, which is so interesting because we know we're holy beings of light. We're just in this meat suit. We're meant to bring in these amazing energies. And so she had us uh, standing in a temple and uh, knowing that we were all once part of the Holy Order of Mary Magdalene. I mean, many of us were. I mean, maybe you weren't directly, but somehow we're connected. The Magdalene was an order of the sacred feminine teachings that were passed down for thousands of years and teachings of nature and heaven and power and wisdom that has survived through time and myth. And so your body is referred to as a temple. So when we treat our bodies well, and that is like the hummingbird spirit living in joy, living in that, you know, in the moment, instead of like hanging in there when you know things aren't going the way you want it, just leave, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and it's so interesting. I'm listening to myself talk and I had a friend and I had an altercation about, she left, she left my birthday party really quickly and didn't tell me why. And I got really, really upset. And, you know, she, I, I realized she's embodying the hummingbird spirit, yeah. but I didn't get it at the time because I was hurt. I was like, well, why don't you tell me why you left? I mean, I don't mind that she left. I know she's sensitive to people's energies. So she was at the party for longer than normal for her. She just doesn't like to be around big groups of people, but she didn't explain she was leaving. And I was hurt because it was a big birthday party. And I was like, well, and she goes, but you had so many people around you. And I said, well, yes, but, um, you know, you're a special friend of mine and it hurt me that you didn't at least tell me why you didn't go. So here's Janet being very vulnerable. And now I'm getting that she's the hummingbird spirit. She was totally embodying it because she'd had enough. She didn't need to stay anymore. She goes, I'm going, I'm done. And she didn't have to explain herself because I kind of know how sensitive she is. And I knew something was up, but at least text me maybe and tell me why you left. Just say, hey, I have to leave because I've had enough. But she didn't for three days and I was sad and I felt bad. It was, I went through this whole thing and we worked it out. We talked about it. And now I'm understanding, just reading this, that she embodies the hummingbird spirit really well mm. because she does not stay around for anybody. Mm. I mean, she really doesn't. So she's embodying that hummingbird spirit in this big, beautiful way. She embodies life as it is. She eats the, she, she, she lives with the nectar. She takes the nectar from life. Even though she said, I was there for a long time. I was starting to get uncomfortable. It's time to go. And I thought, you know, I have to honor that in her. And I, I know that there's something her. Janet, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Um, like, you know, I channel Zarius and the order of seven. And one of those um, entities are Gloria. So Gloria oh. is, um, we're talking about Gloria, right? Yeah. And I, I love just that. wanted to, she has that Mag uh, Magdalena, um, energy if you wish and she's really the sweetest of them all when she comes forward and she's just the energy being blessed to have her energy step forward and allowing me to channel that it, it's so it's hard to put into words because it's such a huge love it's just so glorious i, I don't mm. have any words for it it's just it's a very very comfortable very sweet very um, nourishing energy and I just wanted to read just short, short what she said one of the first times she came forward and um, I just want to I'm just going to read it really quickly um, go ahead yes so she says it is with great pleasure that I speak with you today you can call me Gloria I have a love story to tell you the love you feel for yourself 
is stronger than any other love. It connects you to the source, awaiting a change greater than you can imagine, a change that will happen. We hear your voice. We hear your longing, the longing for the good that resides in each one of you, which connects us and makes us all one. We are here to assist you in this process and the value of this work cannot be measured in the physical. It can be measured only in the wholeness. We remind you that it is all about balance. So find the stillness, allow yourself to be brought here so that your soul once again can speak and sing freely with the power of its voice. And to me, mm. that is that energy of that, um, what will you call it again? The bird. It's the hummingbird. The hummingbird, sorry. Yeah, it is that that sweet, joyful remindness, you know, that, that energy that just lifts you and bring yeah. I, I just wanted to share yeah. that because I I really, really enjoy that energy and I'm just missing it actually. I'm just missing You know, that's so interesting. I love what you read. It was so beautiful because it's so, so, I love the word that she's a Gloria as well, because Gloria is a name that you don't hear a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, Gloria is glorious. I mean, to me, it's just, it's celebration. It's a name of celebration. Mm -hmm. And um, she's telling us to celebrate ourselves of who we are. And the hummingbird celebrates itself every time, every moment. Yes. It's always celebrating oh, itself. Look at this. I just... Release all low frequency energy that needs to be let go in order to once again fly freely, oh. freely as the soul. I surround you with pink energy, an aura of sparkling golden energy from the divine. Didn't that just? That's beautiful. Because you said you saw, you saw pink energy. And when we first started, you were seeing pink energy. There you go. I love it. I love it. And like before we got on, I think you said that. To yeah, me. it's just. And so it's beautiful. And so this is, you know, this is all about the self love. I mean, you know, I called my shows own your divine light mm -hmm. and that's my website. And it's also my, when I do my summit shows that I do is own your divine light. And it's all about self love because I was guided to talk about self love because people you know, we don't think we, we don't love ourselves because we talk to ourselves the most negative and we talk to ourselves the, the harshest. We're the harshest with ourselves. And I do it myself. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not perfect here. And yet, you know, it's okay. We're still in ascension energy. You're still God's, you know, spirit source still loves you creator because this is part of what humanity is. And so for us to embody all parts of ourselves is loving yourself. That's what self-love is. And the hummingbird is just showing us how much self-love is. Gloria just brought through how much it's important to love who you are. Mm. And, you know, this is what, this is our whole, this to me is our whole reason for being on this planet. I because so once agree with love you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once we can love ourselves to this level, that's when our consciousness raises. Then we can embody, you know, some of the attributes of the hummingbird. We could probably fly upside down if we really <laughs> just put our mind to it, you know, <laughs> because there's nothing, there's no limitations. We never had any, we just put them on ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so the more we step into who we are, we are truly essences in this, in this human, human body. And we're, we're never going to, you know, when we, when we transition out of this body, we're still in essence. We never leave. We never die. No. We're always going to be this amazing, brilliant essence of light that just keeps transforming and growing and expanding. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, you know, it's hard to believe, but when you really look at that, that's a hummingbird. The hummingbird yeah. is just always in its light. It's it so is. beautiful. We are light. Yeah. I remember I used to sign all my letters. You are the light, mm -hmm. be the light. You are the light. And it's so much more relevant even today because we are the light and we mm -hmm. don't realize how much light. And, and that's why the solar energy is coming on so strong. It's bringing more light into our bodies, shifting our DNA, moving us into this higher consciousness, ascension energy that we, we knew we could do it. We knew we could do it. And that's why we're here. And you know what? Just know that you are so loved and appreciated by all the realms that are watching us and supporting us. 
all the different beings, all the angelics, everybody. I mean, we're just so supportive and we forget. I forget. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I do. And um, but when I stop and I think and I and I hear something like the Magdalene feast day information, it brought tears to my eyes. Mm-hmm. It, it got me reconnected to the sacredness of all that we are. And it's so powerful to realize how sacred beings we are. And we abuse ourselves with food and, and drink and all kinds of crazy things. But if we look at our body as that temple, and we sort of embody that and, and say, okay, this is my temple. This is all I have right now. This is really my reality is my body. Because if your body is not doing well, nothing's doing well, is it? <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I mean, the reality is if this little temple isn't functioning well, we're not doing well. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So we, we, we really have to honor it so much and put, you know, healthy things in it as much as possible. I mean, you know, I, I still like, you know, I like my sweets. I have to be truthful, Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I, I have to have my little treats, but I like fruit a lot too. And I do eat as healthy as I can. I'm not a, a real junk food and I never eat fast food. So. Uh, I mean, you know, not the not the classic fast foods. I might get a couple of things from different places that I think are healthier, but um, all that's important. I mean, this is our basic humanity. So I don't know what else have you got to say about it. I know I'm did. just I've picked up the book one more time, or actually twice, because when we you were talking, she's still the presence of Gloria is really strong right now. And I know I could I feel her. Wanted, I didn't read the whole thing, so I just thought, okay, I'll, I'll do that now. So she yeah. said, it is critical that you find self-love. And she calls it Iris Ikna Mandid. Carry this love, share this love with all life. This way you will change your world, your reality. And that's mm-hmm. so true. Love yeah. is the thing that changes our world and changes our reality, how we look at life. So as you're saying and talking about how you're loving your physical body or the by eating well and nourishing it in a way that gives you that energy and allows the body to be a vessel for that high frequency love. That's the wholeness of everything. That's when you're aligning and you're allowing yourself just to be that pure energy. And it's Mm -hmm. all that purity we're talking about. It's about pure thoughts, what we think about ourselves. It is about the emotions that we do let go of the shadow. We do our shadow work and we allow ourselves to find peace and just center and just allowing, allowing and accepting that love. Because a lot of people of us do not feel acceptance. Right. Either that we're not good enough to receive love or we have conditions on that love or we have beliefs on what love is, which is anchored within conditions because they're probably adopted or learned. But when we just right. let go of all that and just say, what is truly love? Mm-hmm. It is allowance and just to be. It's being in that heart space and being okay. It's just yeah. being okay. It's, it's, it's like you said, it's taking care of the human aspect of this life. It's showing that human self love. Right. It's about loving yeah, who you are yeah. on all levels. And I'm looking now from a soul perspective as we chose to come here. Right. Through these meat suits, as you like to call them. <laughs> so the meat suit. Yeah. The meat suit. Yeah. So when we so <laughs> or a tube. We, it could be a tube, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be like a like a hot dog. We're filling yeah. that hot dog skin. <laughs> yeah. So so you know, we have to take care of that. We have to, you know, embrace that experience to grow and to expand. And we do that through love. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. That's why, you know, why we're here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was thinking as you're talking about looking at, you know, it's, we talk about not looking at the past, but you can look at the past and look at the shifts that we've made through our lives. I mean, I feel like I have lived multiple lifetimes in this life. And I know I've read that the people have felt that themselves. I mean, don't you feel like you've lived multiple lifetimes? Oh, yes. I do. We have all shifted so much. If you're really doing the work, I mean, not and even if you're doing some of the work, whatever. I think every one of us can look at our lives and go, I am so far from that person that I started out to be when I was very young and then into my teen years and then into my 20s and my 30s and my 40s, my 40s and 50s and 60s and, and up 
have, have totally created a new person because I saw the person that I was was not acceptable to me. It wasn't the person I knew I wanted to be. And I, and I, you know, I was in a lot of pain, like we all were. We've all been in pain to get to where we've gotten to. I think there's always something. I mean, maybe you didn't, but I know in my life I had to go through that to get to where I am. But um, it's so powerful to realize how far we've come mm. and to see the world shifting. Okay, we've been through some real muck the last couple of years. Yep. But, you know, we're into the glory. We're into the Gloria, glorious years, yeah. the Gloria years. We're going to call these the Gloria years. Yes, we will. <laughs> yeah, because, and Gloria, I hope you're listening because she's probably laughing like yeah. heck up there because she's got a good sense of humor. Yeah. Gloria, we're in the Gloria years. So, um, you know, because we're, we're shifting and, and it's here. We're, we just have to embrace it. So no, no matter what the chaos is outside, it's a distraction to take you away from that self-love that we were talking about, that inner work that's going to get you into the self-love to accept all the parts of us, to know that who we are is the sweet nectar. We are the sweet nectar of life. That when we allow the self-love to come through, because I mean, I've had moments where I just break down crying because I can feel the unconditional love oozing up and it could be from source or it could just be our own coming into our, our body and going, wow, you know, I am worthy of love. When we realize we're worthy of love, it's so powerful mm -hmm. because we were made as a perfect being of love and everything else around us, you know, started shifting us and distracting us. Mm -hmm. And now we're back on our path of going straight this, you know, to going straight into the self love and loving who we are, that essence of light, that being of light that we are. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's such a huge trip we've been on so big. I mean, I'm so grateful for it. It's not been easy, but you know, we've got to be grateful because we've grown and learned so much. I mean, we've just changed the whole planet. Everyone's changing constantly, you know, and maybe you, you're not awake, awake. If you're not, maybe you're probably not even listening then if you're not awake, awake, but even just a little bit, we're always planting seeds and you bring it out and talk to someone about it. You're planting seeds. And the more we do that, the more this grows and change, things start shifting and changing. And, you know, it's like the hundred monkey theory it just keeps going. It just keeps adapting. You don't even, you don't have to do much except be the light, yeah. be the light, be the, be the love, be the self love, know that you're love, know that you are love. And that what we're meant to do is just share that love and share that light. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just, it's a beautiful, powerful knowing and it took, it takes, it takes a while to get there. Sometimes some people get it overnight and I'm so grateful that they can do that. I, mine took a journey. Mine's taken me my whole journey, but I, it's okay. I am, I had so much fun along the journey. I mean, you know, the fun, it shifted from the agony to the fun as things started falling away, as I started to heal the parts and started to accept the parts of me and, and just realized that the things I went through were important for me to go through, to learn uh, about myself. Cause I was willing to look at it. You've got to have the willingness to look at it. You have to have the willingness to surrender to it, mm -hmm. surrender to the pain and go, Oh my God, this hurts so bad. Why, why can't I get rid of it? Well, you can't, you've got to surrender to it, mm -hmm. let it ooze through you. And then it's going to dissipate because that's where we are. We're at the point where it's all shifting into light. Everything gets transmuted into light. So when you shift that pain, it's transmuted into light. And then you're filled with light. And that self-love just grows. It just grows and grows. Ooh. <laughs> That's beautiful. And time is running as always when we're yep. in we're that hard close. space. So. so we hope if you have any comments, please, you know, share what your light moments have been. What have been a couple of awakening moments? You know, I don't know. Is there anyone, you know, anyone? Should, well, we'll, we'll check, we'll check, uh, you know, we'll check and we'll let you know. You can always write us an email and say, this is what's going on. You have two emails right here, two websites you can check out and um, write to one of us. I mean, cause you can, either one of us are accessible. We share that with each other. We will share it on the show if you want, if you choose, or else we'll just, you know, we'll help you out. And um, I'm on Instagram as Divine Light Activator. Vibica is Vibica Garnas. Um, these are our websites. 
and um you know we'd love you to be there i'm on facebook too is the divine light it's a own your divine light i think i have a couple of well they're communities you'd have to ask to join those but i am on there as janet miller as my own you know but i share a few things but um it's it's just so powerful i mean we we are we have done so much work i mean honestly it's 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 amazing to think that we've come through as far as we have and those that are here are meant to be here right now because we are the ones who are able to keep it keep it going and we're this we're willing to look at ourselves and willing to see all our strengths and weaknesses because we have both and it's okay because other people that we we, we connect with have strengths that we don't have and we offset their weaknesses and they offset our weaknesses and we help each other. And it's just, it's so wonderful. This is what the unification is all about. This is what becoming one is all about because we are all one. We are all one. We are from source. Source is the one the the, you know, like the law of one, you read the law of one books. Those are pretty tricky. And the law of one talks about the oneness of who we are from source. We're all like rays of light from source. And we've come into physicality, which is a heck of a brave thing to do, but we did it and we're doing a lot of work and it's so powerful and so wonderful. So, you know, appreciate yourself. Why don't and, you close you know, that with that energy that you have uh, close? Our yeah. Space so, all know. right, let's just, let's close it up. So I'm just going to allow. Hmm. Know that you are the light. You are a radiance beyond compare. And you are loved by all. All universes, all galaxies, all dimensions, all densities. They are celebrating us. Right now. So powerful. So be the light that you are. When things get rough, touch your heart. Connect with your heart. Bring yourself back into yourself. Send your love into your body, your own love, and ask for guidance. Ask for help because you are connected. We are all one. We are meant to feel our emotions, work through them, let them go, and know that we are the light. We are the light on this planet. And we are creating more and more light, and we are creating all, all that is. We are creating all that is. Aho, and so be it. Oh, Thank you. I could feel that energy coming through my hands. It just felt so powerful. Oh my goodness. So thank you all for being here and we love you. And we're so grateful that you're here with us on this journey, this journey of light. Thank you.